Yep. These guys aren't getting punished, but probably when that doctor tries to make his case being like, these people should get punished for their disrespect in trying to come here and do my job. And then once the prince comes and sees his sisters be like, oh my god, this Dr. Rimuru is actually that guy. Like, he can make miracles happen. He cured my sister. And then probably tries to give Rimuru something. I don't know. Either a high position in his courts or probably like just give him a lot of money or something. Something the doctor probably really wants. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it seems to be a cliche thing where she does the super weak point. Yeah, super weak point. I don't know if that's supposed to do a lot more damage. Like, then a regular, like, type advantage. Also, I wonder how many of these are there. Ha! Hm! Ha! You're improving. Keep training. Yes. Thank you very much. Prince Aslan. <laughs> this dude's name is just Carl. Basic names. What is it, Carl? We've captured the sketchy merchant. You did? Yes. Now we'll finally have irrefutable evidence. Your Highness! Also, Soy is just that guy. He's just not getting caught while doing this casually. He's not even trying that hard to hide himself, and he can't even be detected. I must inform you. Prince Zenobia has... What? Suddenly, her condition has gotten better, and her eyesight has recovered. Man, I swear, this guy would be put on execution because, like, he opened up with, with, I must inform you, Prince Zenobia has, like, for literally giving the king or prince a heart attack by starting off like that, <laughs> it's like, to the gallows you go. Or, at the very least, you're gonna get a punch. If I were to fight the Prince Aslan one-on-one, -on -one, I'd bet I'd only have a 50-50 chance. Ah, oh, damn. He's pretty strong then. So that means he's like on the same exact power as Soy. And since Rimuru is stronger than all his subordinates, that Rimuru either has a 100% chance to win or, at the very least, a 75 to 80% chance of winning. So, his chances are pretty good if he did just want to murder the prince and just continue on. Seriously, I've underestimated him. What about Benimaru? Do you think he'd win? Unless there are restrictions. What was he like? He's heroic and takes good care of his men. I got the impression that he's a likable young man with a dignity of a hero. Then, maybe it's the best we recommend siding with Aslan's faction. How did it go with Paolo? The moment he sat down in the tavern, he ordered a drink and some snacks and just started complaining about you, great Rimuru. <laughs> nice. Complaining about me? He's such an annoying little brat. 
keeps using me like a slave and only pays me peanuts. How dare he consider himself my master? So wait, is this his actual true feelings? Or is this him like actually being undercover, but he's just like taking small jabs at Rimaru? Because he's looking actually drunk. And so this could be his true feelings on Rimaru. Aha. But thanks to that, no one suspects him yet. So I guess things are surprisingly going to plan. Alright then. I've got to go take care of something. Keep an eye on Paolo for me, okay? Understood. Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of like this image. Him hiding in the bushes in his slime form. Being all sneaky. I was right to have planted a body double. Good. Okay. Let's check out Prince Zenobia's room. Why? What does she have? She's a princess. She's not allowed in on official kingdom business. She's not here. Maybe she's having dinner or taking a bath. Talk about good timing. Master, I haven't spotted anyone suspicious. Wait, what the heck? I, I don't understand. What happened? Was there a time skip? I wish you could go back to scenes. But is this a flashback? Ah, thanks for keeping watch. <laughs> I can just picture the chef physician having a complete meltdown. Gustav's days of luxury are numbered now that the princess has recovered. Master! Master! What's the rush? Reporting! Prince Aslan is at the door. At this hour? Hmm. He must be here to see Rimuru. Huh? I see. He must be here to thank Dr. Rimuru for curing the princess. Why else would he come to visit me when I'm his enemy? Okay, I was like trying to figure out, is this guy the enemy? But no, this guy is the confidant of Souther, not Aslan. You don't mind me letting him in, do you? Alright, straight to part 6. Apologies for showing up at this late hour. Long time no see, Prince Aslan. I hope your swordsmanship hasn't rusted. Ha! Don't act so arrogant just because you used to train me all those years ago. Rimuru, was it? Thanks for saving my sister. As siblings, we were close, including our sister. I was prepared to support him as Lord Marshal when he eventually ascended to the throne. However, but my brother, that is, Prince Souther, changed. Ever since she fell ill three years ago, Zenobia's condition has worsened, and she's even lost the light in her eyes. Well, I mean, now she has the light in her eyes, and she's better because of Rimuru. My brother and I panicked, but Gustav told us there was nothing we could do. If it really was a disease, I'd probably have just accepted it as fate. 
And you think differently? Brock, have you been able to get an appointment with His Majesty recently? No, I haven't. What does he mean? We've been careful not to let this information leak outside the country, but His Majesty Tentron is also sick in bed. Gustav is the only one who can see him. Oh, so means is Gustav, like, did he kill the guy or is he secretly the other prince? Or is he just holding the other prince hostage by, like, keeping him sick? Even though, like, under the guise that he's trying to make him better. Isn't that crazy? I can't even go see his majesty. And I'm his very own son. Oh, so no, wait. The two brothers are fighting and their dad is the one sick. Just like their sister. And so, yeah, the dad must be confined or dead. One of those two. Come to think of it. Me too. Wait, why didn't I ever think of it? It was strange that I couldn't see his majesty. So that. Exactly. The fact that senior vassals like you didn't even find it strange proves that this country is in a terminal condition. Why haven't I ever told anyone about this? Well, it's actually really simple. The truth is that both Zenobia and my beloved brother have fallen into the hands of Gustav. What? With all due respect, your highness, I can't let a statement like that just slide. So, your highness, do you believe that Prince Souther is behind all this? Think about it. It was three years ago when that sickly brother of mine suddenly became so powerful that it was like he was a different man. That can't be a coincidence. Three years ago, that was around the same time Prince Zenobia fell ill. Do not feel ashamed, for you were all under the mind control of my brother's Enamor. Enamor? There's no way. Oh yes, there is. It is what vampires are good at. Judging from what my allies in uh, Rubirios have told me about them, he checks all the boxes. Oh, so the brother became a vampire. That's what he means. So that's what Luminous has to do with this. Okay, now I wonder where Violet falls into this. However, Prince Zalder has no problem being exposed to sunlight. Apparently, the higher ranking vampires are immune to sunlight. Your Highness, do you mean to say that Chief Physician Gustav is a vampire who turned Prince Zalder and has him under his control? No, I think he's been dosed with true blood and turned into a greater vampire. True blood? My old friend Karo suspects that this whole incident isn't really about the succession of the throne. But rather, it's Demon Lord Valentine trying to sabotage humanity's ability to defend itself. Okay. So, I don't know, this could lead to continuity errors. I mean, I guess you could basically take the OVA or whatever this is in material out, but there's no way Rimuru knew who Valentine was beforehand. Because I remember when Valentine came in, he was like, is that Lord Valentine? Like, when the fake one came in, it's like, no. The one behind 
that vampire is the true demon lord. Like, he knew... Like, who was a vampire because of, like, Great Sage and his analytical skills. But he never saw them beforehand to actually know who Valentine was. A demon lord? This is way bigger than I thought. I don't want to fight a demon lord, but... Damn, dude's mad that he's making some accusations. Who'd have thought that even I would fall for his enamor? Shockwave. Huh. Impressive. Is that an art? Affirmative. I assume that it's an art that detects foreign substances by letting one's aura flow. So I don't understand. Did he like check his own body and being like, yeah, there is enamor in my body or in my mind. So I've been under the prince's spell. Please forgive me for having foolishly fallen into the hands of evil. Barak. Shifan, take my hand. So, we were both under his spell, and that's why you couldn't say anything until now. Is that correct? If only you had been able to tell us earlier. I couldn't tell you until I had gathered enough evidence to convince you otherwise. So, you have conclusive evidence now? Karo says he's caught the black marketeer who sold the true blood to Gustav. We just need his testimony. Wow! Thanks again, Rimuru. As long as we have your medicine, Zabonia won't turn into a vampire. So, Her Highness hasn't been turned into a vampire, correct? After all, Prince Souther loves the princess so very much. Yeah, and I can see love being so strong you want to turn that person into a vampire. So then she stays alive forever, or at least long-lasting. I'd like to think so too. Anyway, the first thing to do is take out the traitor, Gustav. I, Barak, wish to offer my support to you in any way that I can. I'll be counting on you. As soon as we're ready, we'll launch an attack on the palace to take down Gustav and rescue Zenobia. Huh? Okay. This is interesting. Like, we still haven't even met the other prince yet. Like, I'm very confused on what's happening in this story so far. Super weak point. But yeah, so the vampires are basically invading. I feel like the twist is that the other prince wanted to get stronger and healthier because he was the sick one of the family so he made a deal with luminous to become a, a vampire so that he can become strong and healthy now i don't know if he tried to make his sister a vampire and then her body was rejecting it and that's why she became ill Or maybe it's something else. On like how she became ill. Oh! I just got the biggest chills! Uh, I am lost. So wait. I think I understand now. What just happened? So... 
the timeline was going normal, like straightforward. And then we cut ahead to Rimaru, like trying to go inside Zenobia's room. And then we go back to a flashback of somewhere on the timeline that we didn't get to see. So yeah, the game did something weird doing these events. I don't know if this is what happened in the episode OVA or what, but yeah, it's super weird that they do a flash forward into what Rimuru is doing and then go back into the events that led into the flash forward. Notice, you are reacting to an overwhelming amount of magicules. Although it may be less than that of Caribus, it is equal to that one of the Orc disaster. You should avoid fighting it alone. I'm trying to see. He defeated the Orc disaster. And, I mean, he didn't defeat Caribus, but... He did gain some stuff from Carabas. So, I don't know. He should be able to handle this person. I mean, it's a recommendation that he should not fight this person alone. But he should be able to win. Maybe I should look into this. Notice, if you were to perform analytical appraisal here, there's an 80% chance that the target will notice your presence. Do you still want to proceed? If that's the case, obviously not. Oh, Zenobia, you were suffering at the hands of Aslan, and there was nothing I could do about it. Please, forgive this useless brother of yours. Wait, what? In whose care is she in? I don't understand. So is like the king's castle still like its own independent thing and the brothers are rallying their own armies across the city slash uh, country on both their sides. So like who is Gustav being paid off with? Because is he like with the king? And so he's her doctor and they're like in a neutral area until the two armies decide who's the winner. Because I thought she was first like with this guy being taken care of by this prince, Salder. But he's acting as if Aslan did this. Like he was... That she was in the care of Aslan and that's why she got sick. Also, it's weird. His, like, arm plate is kind of made like a moon. So I don't know if that's actually supposed to be a moon or if it's just weirdly shaped. Not at all. You did nothing wrong. Brother? Is that Souther? Besides, we don't know for sure if it's Aslan's fault. Yes, we do. Of course, it was all his fault. Like Gustav said, when Aslan seized control of the guild, he made it impossible for any medicine to arrive in our nation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy is the one in control of where she's staying. Because Gustav said that he'll report to his highness, which I'm pretty sure was Souther. And Gustav was taking care of this girl. And I'm pretty sure Gustav has been making the lies that no medicine has been able to arrive in the nation. There's nothing to worry about anymore. So just take it easy and rest. Okay. Sorry to have worried you. No problem. He seems different from what I heard about. I guess he must have been containing his aura in front of his sister. Now that Zenobia has fully recovered, there's no reason for us to hold back. We will eliminate Aslan and all those who support him. 
All right, so I'm guessing he was holding back killing his brother because if like her sister heard in like her weakened state she might have died from heartbreak that her family is killing each other and that her brother died so there's going to be an all-out war between aslan and the souther factions huh wait is souther not the one who put zenobia through all this Who's there? Oh, could it be the person who came by earlier? Dr. Rimuru, wasn't it? Wrong person! Oh, then who might you be? Oh, um, um, Satoru. Literally, his voice is the exact same from being human and then slime. There's no way she'll believe this. I mean, even though he does look completely different, different species and all, there's no way she can believe this. So, ah, so you're called Satoru. Oh my god, she's actually believing this. Ha hi. Yes. Is she suspicious of me? Okay then. Wow, I like this new look you've got. Okay, she must know it's Rimuru. She's saying it's a new look. Um, I'm just a slime. I don't know this Rimuru person you speak of. <laughs> you seem like such a kind man, Mansasur. I'll keep it a secret, if you could do me a favor. Mansasur? Hey, I'm not that old. A favor, you say? I may have gone blind, but in return, I gained the ability to visualize people's souls. Okay, I am super confused. Is she actually blind still? Yeah, I don't know. Like, is actually when he cured her eyes, is that in the far future after the event's done? Right now, my brother, Souther, and Aslan are little boys crying their hearts out. You see, they both have kind souls. Really? If that's true, then I don't think either of them could be the real culprit. On the other hand, Chief Physician Gustav terrifies me. He's so muddy. It's like he's covered by a purple-tinted darkness. Notice, her unique skill is Dreamer. It is the ability to visualize the shape of one's soul, or their true nature. Hmm. so that's why she called me Mansoor. She was able to visualize what I looked like before I got reincarnated. Then, why don't you just tell them? I can't. If I were to just say that out loud, I would put both of them in danger. But that's... His Majesty, the King, has yet to visit me since I fell ill. He has always been interested in only himself. Damn, he hasn't even been interested in his kids. Also, Chief Physician Gustav is His Majesty's closest confidant. So, Gustav has been acting under orders from the King. Yes. Ah, hide and erase your aura. Huh? Right. Notice. It's the hallucinogenic magic. Sleep induction. Its only effect is putting the target to sleep. Therefore, I assume that there is no murderous intent. I can't have her making a full recovery just yet. I'll need to refine her soul more in service of my master. Don't! Huh? Hmm? Wait, what's that? 
No, it's probably just my imagination. Did he just sense my aura? Maybe this is Gustav's guy is stronger than he leads on. That's right. I'm positive it was Gustav who gave my brother his current strength. So, Aslan's guess was right. That is why I would like you, Mansoor, to save my brothers. That's asking quite a lot. I don't know if I'm obliged to take it that far. But also, how are they talking? Like, I know Rimuru can, like, telepathically talk with his subordinates, but I don't remember him just having telepathy. Wait, this vision, it's from Zenobia. I guess I have no choice. Okay. If I'm saving one, I better save them all, including you. Oh my. I promise to give it my all. You really are a kind man, Mansoor. I'll summon that girl and use her as a sacrifice. <laughs> like, what is happening in the background? <laughs> like, Rimuru and Zenobi are having a, like, wholesome conversation about supporting each other to stop her brother. And here this guy is having an evil monologue about sacrificing, I guess, Zenobia or some other girl. That girl. Is he talking about me? <laughs> or he wants to sacrifice Rimaru. Because I guess he also thinks Rimaru is a girl. Okay, weird choice. Now, actually, all these battles have been weird choices. We've been fighting a bunch of characters that we shouldn't be fighting. Uh, this is the place we faced, uh, what's his name? Uh, the like, evil version of... I'm trying to remember exactly what his name is, the Gabriel evil version. Okay, part eight. What's in it for Gustav? Why does he want two princes to fight? Apparently, he can come home whenever he wants. I guess he could technically do that. Yeah, no. Actually, he could come home whenever he wanted. I forgot he had like a teleportation spell or stone, something like that. That's why like when, when he was leaving the school slash Ingressia area, he needed to be somewhat of a distance away before he could use teleportation to like get back. So he could always get back. It is very weird that he has come home a couple of times before he finished his mission of staying with the kids for like their summer semester like during this one mission that he has to do like my uh, my guy does not just stay like at his mission he he really needs tempest supporting him so he can do his missions huh princess zenobia thinks the king might have given the order but anyway the important thing is to prevent any fighting so, when shall we get going? Let's see. Notice, I predict that they'll be making their move tomorrow. Tomorrow? Already? 
Affirmative. The individual Gustav put a curse on Princess Zenobia. They'll put the blame on her poor condition on... Me, huh? Affirmative. They will make up a libellous statement and hold the Marquis Amandi responsible for inviting a criminal. And that's going to upset Aslan's faction. They'll try to revolt, but Southerner's faction will be fully prepared for the attack, which will result in an easy roundup, huh? Let's go tomorrow. Benny Maru, I need you to prevent Prince Aslan from making his move. It shall be done. Soy, I want you to take care of Barak. Let's hope you can persuade him. But if not, try to hold him back by force. Ranga, you guard the Marquis Amandi mansion. Make sure his wife and family are unharmed. Okay, I do not like this picture of Ranga. <laughs> it seems like super serious for his playful little face right now. Like, usually Ranga's super cute with less detail. Understood. I won't let you down. What will you be doing, Great Rimuru? Me? I've got some business to take care of. What's going on? How did he get involved in all of this? What a pain. Maybe I should just let sleeping dogs lie. But the fact is, my arrival might just be the best thing to have happened. After all, I could turn this situation around if I wanted to. Oh well, I'll just have to wait and see. I know there are those who are trying to put the blame on us. So, depending on what happens, I may have to teach them a lesson. So wait, is Gustav a vampire? An independent vampire that's not working for Luminous that is causing this situation. And I'm guessing, like, once he's caught at the very end, she'll probably be the one to murder him. Chief Physician, what's going on here? Because of the suspicious drugs that this woman brought, Her Highness is not waking up from her sleep. Oh, such a tragedy. How are you going to take responsibility for this? And now I've got myself an alibi. All right, then. Good night. Yeah, I am so confused. This event is so weird, or this episode. Wow, you really came for me. Of course, I made a promise. Yes. Good. What? Who's there? Could it be an assassin that's after the princess? Yeah, here's Satoru. Uh, I, I was gonna say, he looks kinda handsome, this form of Rimuru, but... I don't know, he looks generic. I mean, people can disagree with me, but, I mean, I don't know. But I do like the black hair. It's just something about his face. It's too, like, straight and triangular. Arcane Thread Fetters! Ah! Sorry, but I'm going to borrow the princess for a while. Stop! How dare you? Who are you? 
Just like no robber would ever stop when told to, no kidnapper is going to reveal his identity just because someone asked. But I'm a nice guy, so I'll tell you. I'm the great thief, Rim Satoru. So I don't know if that's gonna stick or if they're actually just gonna say Satoru. Rim Satoru? No, it's just Satoru. Satoru, the great thief. Make sure to include the title when you mention my name. Yeah, he almost screwed up and said his normal name. And so then people would have been looking for, like, the actual Rimuru. Huh, this guy's Rimuru. Let's get him. He kidnapped the princess, even though he looks completely different than Satoru. Um, what exactly is a great thief? Just a title. Uh, okay, but maybe it's less confusing without the title. Ha 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 ha, not at all. I added it just to confuse them and spread disinformation. Seems like everyone's here. Yeah, let's do this. What the hell do you want? Oh my god, their outfits look amazing. I actually love this. <laughs> they have Arabian Night looking outfits. These guys better be on the banners. Like, these guys better be part 3 banners. Like, no way. These outfits look too good to be wasted on this anime only cutscene. Yeah, I like how Soy is kind of Aladdin-like. And, and he's kind of got that hat that the monkey has. And his colors are super nice. I mean, I couldn't do without the purple. But the brown, black, and a little bit of blue look very good on him. Benimaru looks like the Sultan. The king of, like deserts like th those are usually their kings or at least uh people that rule the area and so i think his outfit looks great as well i love the hat and that it's basically a scarf too and cape that covers most of his top and his shirt is pretty fine looking it's a long sleeve with a red black and then the white for the sleeves I think it looks great oh my god I really hope these outfits are available in the summons come on now you guys aren't trying to get in our way are you try to mess with us and you're gonna get hurt <laughs> I don't know who you are but sure I'll take you on you'll regret picking a fight with Paulo the former martial arts master and current quarterstaff master. Was Paulo not informed on the plan by Rimaru? Did Rimaru just literally want Paulo to support Aslan? Because it's weird he didn't tell him about the plan. If you want to live, just shut up and... Whoa! Yeah! Hey, that's overkill. Hey, he's been bad-mouthing our boss. He deserves a good beatdown. <laughs> Damn. I see, Soy was listening to those conversations, and he said, that's personal. Like, every time he was hearing him, like, talk bad about Rimuru. And also, how strong is this guy? He showed himself as like somewhat capable by taking down that lizard but the guy couldn't even stand a second against soy i see then there's no need to hold back 
You guys got some nerve messing with us. Er, yo! Don't get cocky just because you took down Paolo. Back off, guys. You don't stand a chance against them. You're probably an assassin hired by the traitor, Gustav. We will show you no mercy if you choose to stand in our way. We're no assassins, but we will stand in your way. Yeah, now that you can actually see the full look of their uniforms, it's like, damn. They are so badass. Like, Sui looks like a genie. We've got business to take care of right now. Sorry, but I don't have time to mess around. It's you, isn't it? You're the one who's been monitoring the perimeter of my house lately. Okay, I like to see that Barak is actually somewhat capable. So he did know that Soy was around. Like, for reconnaissance. And was able to detect it. But I'm guessing Soy was just a little too good that Barak wasn't able to catch him. Who? Ah, so you knew about that. You admit it, huh? Incredible. We'd just be in the way if we tried to help. He's strong. The other one too. He's fighting evenly against the unrivaled Barak. I mean, Soi looks like he's getting roughed up. I don't know how Barak is looking, but Soi's looking like he's taking some hands. He's better than I thought. I wanted to finish this off before the boss gets here, but it's not so easy with just a sword. Soi said he was the real deal, but more importantly, I hate the fact that Soi was measuring my strength this whole time. I mean, I thought these dudes are best friends slash rivals. So, I don't see why Benimaru would be mad at Soi. It's like, yeah, Benimaru's this strong. And so, I'm probably this strong in comparison to Benimaru. Or like, that guy is that strong compared to Benimaru. What's so funny? <laughs> You're strong, so that makes me a little happy. Never! Hmm. You might be strong, but you're no match for me. Says who? You're wounded all over. What? Was this ultra speed regeneration, or was this... Like an illusion that actually Soi never took any damage. I'm a master of casting doubles. Normally, I'd fight you with multiple body doubles. But out of respect for you, I'll continue to fight one on one. You dirty. I surrender. Your men have surrendered. What are you going to do? I'm not done yet. Like, they could probably win this if they switch opponents. Like, if Barak held down his ground for a little bit against Benny Maru, and Aslan was able to defeat Soy, then both of them can team up on Benny Maru, and then I think they would have a good chance of winning. Hmm. Benimaru! Soy! Kept you waiting, huh? 